I cannot believe this smug lolly Arisu. All this time, since season one, all she, not even season one, since the white room when they were kids, all she wanted to do was make sure that Kiyotaka could feel the warmth of a human heart. She's such a good person. Smug Lolly is such a good person, bro. It's like, oh my god, the Arisu stomps are skyrocketing. Now, I believe we skipped the Ichino Sei and Ryun stuff, but obviously, Ryun's gonna win because he can't get expelled, right? He's the only one that went without protection points, so hopefully, they'll cover a little bit of that. And these are like the 0.5 volumes, right? This is like 11.5, and I hear that these volumes are like summarizing and a little bit more like slice of life elements into some people. This is like their favorite light novel volume. So, hey, let's check out today's reaction. Quote of the day. Change your desires rather than the order of the world. I think this, um, I think that Snafu does this a lot too, but it's like the idea of like, should I change myself to conform to society? I, that's what Hachiman says. But I, I truly believe that in order to change the world, you need to change yourself first, right? Like, I'm not saying just be a fucking simp, just glaze people, just have no morals, have no philo like principal stance and just glaze whatever. No, don't just adapt like that, like a chameleon. But like, in order to change your desires, like, sorry, in order to like change the world, like sometimes things are so outside of your control, it's better to say it is what it is. These are systemic issues that I cannot do anything about. Then you start, you start like not ruminating. Then you're like able to focus on what can I do? What can I focus? What can I do? Like my own actions and how can that impact me, right? So change your desires. Rather than the order of the world, very, very smart, very, very uh, philosophical. I'm an armchair philosopher. Graduation ceremony. Nisama. So, like, you know, in our graduations, like, uh, basically, parents will show up, and you got to take pictures with the family. Oh, my daughter, my son's graduating. They got their robe and everything. Do you think Susan will be in the uh, family picture, or will will Mana be like, <laughs> I'm not taking a graduation picture with this shitty ass sister. In the light novel, did Nissan, did Manabu, like, do the fucking conquer Zaki? Like, in, uh, earlier in the light novel, remember? When he, like, commanded the entire presence of the gym by saying nothing there? There was a little bit of a pause here from Manabu. Did they do anything in the light novel here? I don't know, there was a little bit of a pause. Is he commanding the room right now? I don't know. Wow. Giga Chad. As the student president, well, before passing up to Nagumo. Survived. True. Actually, true. Nope. I'm grateful to be able to graduate with all of you. Nope. Nope. Fuck Suzune. He hates her butt with Ayanako. And they be like, oh, thank God. Ayanako just showed up in you know, my senior year. Comrades who are no longer with us, too. <laughs> He's saying like they fucking died. Yamauchi died. No, they got expelled. Rest in peace, comrades. <laughs> it's funny whenever they talk like this in this show, it's like, you don't die in this game, bro. Nagu's probably like, yep, 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 yep. Stop talking, bro. Stop stalling. Oh, I just doesn't have her hat right now. Respect. Like Ryu and Kushida are in the same frame. Great warmth. You need to show your sister some of that warmth, man. He specifically said next year in the year. No, wait, wait, what did he say? Did he... Okay, I thought he I thought he meant like specifically for our graduating class, as in like it's implying this is for Susan or Anna Kotina. Just saying like every year, every graduation, right? でかいできる瞬間が訪れるでしょう。とうございます。卒業生代表堀北学。さあ、その就業式の前に。Okay. <笑> You fucking idiot, you spent all your points, you get nothing, because you're worth nothing. And now he's like, I'm so proud of you guys, you come such a far away. Yeah, back to D class we go, just like Koji prophesied. No, we're united now. It's fine, we can call him back up. We got the most class points out of all the classes? It is also unsettling that you're... Yeah, what's the catch? Chabashir is actually happy today? 
お前たちがまた上のクラスに上がれるかどうかはこれからも日々対応。And like moving forward into second year with Nagumo in charge, won't he be able to erect his philosophy of like, what's it called?、Um, instead of being tied down to a class for judgment of your skills, right? You can basically progress independently through your own merits, right? Isn't that what he proposed in the, back in like season two? So, like, now we don't really have dead weights dragging us down. People can just kind of solo carry themselves or have different factions and little groups form. <laughs> Like, I just feel like a future where Arisu, Ryu, and Koji, fucking Ichino say all group up to fight other people. I feel like that's definitely close, isn't it? Now, I'm not sure how much in detail they're going to explain in the anime, but thank God we watch Baseless U Pen's light novel cut content stuff. So basically, for the people, well, if, I'm not sure if they're going to explain it, but I'm, I'm going to do it. Ryu and just put fucking laxatives in Ichino s class. And when they all went to the bathroom, you know what Ryu said? Hey, what the fuck are they doing all the way going in the bathroom at the same time, teacher? It, doesn't this look fucking suspicious? Come on! Everyone at the same time? Bro, fucking gaslit each no sleep in one. None of them have the resolve to kill, man. None of them have the resolve to kill like Suzune. Yeah. Psychological comeback. Ryuan says, Oh, Chudo, could you imagine Albert versus Ichinose or some shit? No, just like, no, Albert versus some kind of fucking, like, you know, the girl that confessed to Ichinose? You have that girl fucking fight, you know, Albert in the fucking judo match while she's on fucking a laxative. Fucking judo flipping down, their fucking shit just fucking right out the pants. But, like, memes aside, Ryuan did say, like, Ichinose is not fit to be a leader, right? Kanzaki and Ichinose are not suitable as a leader, despite being in B class and being ranked higher because they can't make cold d e c i s i o n Basically, they don't have the resolve to kill. You know what Ichinose does have? The resolve to shoplift, baby. Albert, let's go! <laughs> Who's gonna beat Albert, dude, in the judo? <laughs> Who are you gonna put in there? <laughs> it's GG. Yeah, it's GG. Get out of here. You, you've been beat. Even Mashima sensei is like, it's over, man. <laughs> What will that do? That's a lesson. You're gonna get the resolve to kill too? Maybe foreshadowing right now. Okay. We did, then the principal fucking. <laughs> He fucking scammed us. Dissolver Alliance? What? No? If we're aiming for B class or higher, I guess, you know, the dissolving the alliance does make sense. If we're truly gunning for each n o s e s back and going beyond that, it, I, I guess it does make sense to dissolve. I was like, I thought we were kind of chilling for a bit, huh? I don't know. Damn, even each n o s e s surprised by that. See, I feel like each n o s e doesn't have this, right? As much as we shit on Suzune, she does have the, this resolve that Ryu was talking about the resolve to kill <laughs> in a fucking high school anime where no one dies. Time to get serious, right? She's like, actually can't make the cold decision. She's very ambitious. She's been saying this since like season one, right? She does have good leadership qualities in those objective. Parameters per se. Yes. Thank you for helping us when we were hopeless. Now I'm gonna backstab you. You and Kanzaki? Because I don't know anyone else in B class, to be honest. They're all NPCs to me. Susan is my. This, this demon is smiling? Can we even count in her fucking hand? One hand, how many times she smiled? When did she smile before this? She smiled in the filler episode in, in season one, in the, in the pool episode. There's a smile here. The pseudo? Was it the pseudo confession? Huh. 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 Is this Kaiba? Is Kaiba here? Instead of Suzune from Sword Art Online? Anyways. Okay, not going to the graduation party. It was all because of Koji. Koji's gonna go see him. Hmm. Okay. She'll be a little pissed off about that, probably. What does it matter if we see Koji? Ought to do. That should do a moment incoming. What you gonna do? Suspension. Sakanagi, Dad! 
Sakai Nagi Dad? This is usually where we talk to, you know, uh, Arisu, uh, K uh, Kushida though, usually. A sponsor to compete against... Skishiro and Mashima's the ticket? Mash... Jesus Christ, my rice cooker is going crazy. But Mashima, A-class teacher. The bro who was 300 pounds then fucking got the craziest, you know, died of his life in season two. He came back looking like a fucking Olympic athlete because the light novel says he could easily be mistaken for like an Olympic tier athlete. Okay. Mashima is going to be our champion to fend off against Kishiro. Hmm, okay. Oh? Yeah, to get away from his dad and to relax and have a high school life, normal high school life. See, I've been thinking about this. I was like, like, if we graduate, then we're kind of back into the grasp of the white room, right? So it's like, how do we really do this? I was like, why doesn't Anakochi just become a super senior forever in, in this school, right? He just like... How do you even, like, stay in school forever? You can't buy anything with points, right? What if he just keeps accumulating points and, like, you know, third year, and he just, like, forever stays in third year with all those points and bribes the teachers to make him stay in third year forever? I don't fucking know. What's he gonna do after graduation? I never thought about that. What's Koenji gonna do? He's gonna lead Japan to the new next generation. He could become a teacher. He could. Really? You going back to the white room? Mentor at the white room? Hmm. Bro's actually trying to live his high school life to the most possible, huh? He's actually just having such a great time. Well, having like friends like Arisu, someone that he could maybe consider an equal, you know, having someone to relate to, meeting new people, maybe, maybe forming a harem, having fucking idiot trio, eating fucking ramen in 7-Eleven with Sudo, you know, like shit like that. That's what he's enjoyed, but he's like, I just want to treasure these three years. That's so sad, man. But like, after this, is there truly no other way? Is there fucking no other way, man? <gasps> Rewin's resolve to kill. Go kill Ayanokoji's dad. That probably wouldn't solve anything. <laughs> Reception room. Huh? Mashima! Arisu? Is Hoshinamiya sensei here? Or no? No, it's just Chabs and Mashima. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, お前も思い切ったことやりたいんじゃなかったのか。スキシロ理事長代理に関しての重要な話。Be so now it's a game of trying to catch Kishiro pants down so that we can have some legal reasons to actually fire him and get Radis' dad back in. But that's a lot harder than then. I feel like this entire school is fucking scammed out, huh? I feel like everything is set up so that Kishiro will be protected no matter fucking what. Radis is down with it? Yo, he's, he's scamming us, man! Okay, okay. Mashima's down. <laughs> Mashima's salary got slashed! How could Kishiro do this? <laughs> yeah, breaking the rules? What rule did he... Yeah, he said Ishinose don't do it. There no way Ishinose could fight Yamada, bro, Albert. So, Yama, so Mashima stopped it, right? That's breaking the rules? Mashima going over to Ishinose to convince her that like, hey, it's probably not a good deal. Like, who are you really gonna send in? Kanzaki's gonna get fucking folded like a fucking... Flip phone, bro. Like, what's gonna happen, right? So, Mashima doing that got him in trouble? Oh, that seems so fucking so strict. Maybe teachers aren't allowed to interfere with any of the students' decisions, that's why. Outside judgments influencing the, the, the test. Good teacher! Actually, good teacher! Wow! Yo, I never knew what Mashima was about. That's a great line. Alright. Hoshinomiya sensei. Conveniently left out. Usually, whenever Chabs is around, you know, Hoshinomiya sensei is also there, but she's not. And I understand that this is, you know, has to do with, you know, talking to Mashima, and because, you know, it's our class, you know, D class teachers, Chabs will be here, but, oh, you know, they're always a trio, you know? Wait, wait, is Hoshinomiya sensei maybe a traitor? Is she working for Skishiro? Maybe? Maybe? Are you gonna brutally slap him down? She just 
gonna fucking just fuck your cane over there. You're gonna fall down again. <laughs> With all due respect, you are not gonna brutally slap it. Well, maybe Aura Kozu can like hold him when there's no cameras around. And Arisu can get the walking cane and she can fucking smack him the fucking head. Arisu can just like hit him with the fucking cane when no one's looking, bro. She is petty, right? Yeah, how she got expelled for kicking Arisu's cane? Why can't Arisu take out Kishido? Maybe it makes sense? Petty sm smug lolly is gonna save us. No, because Kishiro is simply one head of the Hydra from the white room known as Papa Koji, right? And my still theory is that Kishiro, oh, oh, there, there's a goal of getting Aaron Koji back to the white room, but I keep saying if Aaron Koji that's gonna come back, why don't we just make the school the white room and send people like Kishiro there to facilitate an environment that maybe develops Aaron Koji into this artificial genius that he's supposed to be. I, I don't fucking know, but like, if you get rid of Skishiro, like, fucking Skishiro 2, Skishiro 3 will show up, right? There's, there's no shot. An assassin? <laughs> An assassin? Yeah. It will no longer be the nurturing school. It'll be the white school, dude. Mashima fears the white school theory? Hmm. Okay, party time, guys. Wow, hamburger steak. <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> Anti-social loner fucking nerd. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm so mean to Suzune for no reason. I'm actually so mean to her for no fucking reason at all. Come on, she's just standing by herself at the party. At least she showed up. Go talk to him. But she's changed. Cap, Cap, Manabu realized it. Anakochi changed you. You're a different tool now, huh? You've you've become like a like a rusty saw to like a sharpened saw. Good job, tool. Who are the f who the f are these A class students important? Oh, like like straight up, they're just NPC A class students, huh? One hundred percent. Like you, like some characters, they have some really cool designs. Like for example, Adisu's right hand man, right? Not a uh, not a uh, not not a uh, fucking blondie with the top knot. But um, I'm talking about uh, the, the guy with the fucking gloves. Right? They all have really cool designs, but these are just fucking NPC designs. I want to see some cool people from the A class, but I guess it makes no sense to show cool designs and then they graduate and you can't use them again. So it makes no sense. So it makes sense to actually make them into NPCs. Gotcha. They just look like a bunch of fucking Hondos, man. A bunch of classroom of the Hondos. Classroom of the EKs. Go talk to him. Go talk to him. Come on. <laughs> Get in there. Yeah, it does. What do you even want Susanna here? Didn't he straight up say like our relationship ended when you fucking showed up to the school and you fucking embarrassed me getting into D class? He straight up said that in the light novel in the rooftop scene when Susanna and Manabu were talking, right? Like, like is, is, is there Manabu actually giving a fuck about Susanna timeline possible? I thought that she was just for Koji and he was just capping. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the talking for you. Dude, is she going to talk to Manabu or no? The way that she said I'm leaving sounded like she's just going out. Wait, wait, wait. Did she straight up leave the party? After even that push thing, hey, use your fucking emoto privilege? She just straight up left the party? <laughs> Classic, Susan. Classic. Oh. Oh. Oh, the best seats. Our last booty call. Manaba was watching the entire time. Look at Manabu for the three years, my fucking ass. You could never fucking make eye contact with Manabu. You're so intimidated by me. Every time Manabu shows up, you're always like hiding your gaze. Shut the fuck up, something Liar! Oh, with the Nagamo bet. Wait! Sibling redemption? Possible? It's gonna be a secret. Okay, we might get a wholesome scene with Manabu and Susan, man. Or maybe you're right. This is just an excuse to talk to Koji one last time. One last booty call. Everyone's leaving, huh? Graduation. We're all leaving. Pack up your shit. Get the fuck out of here. A bunch of sociopaths has been graduated. And now they're gonna enter the workforce and just make... Imagine a bunch of fucking sociopaths from this school entering the workforce, bro. I'm fucking terrified. No, I think he saw the growth. Kick 
Koji, phone call. At least she's like super aware now. A fake. What did you want to... Your Moe side? Boy, what is it? What did you want to show? Is she about to get a haircut? Did, did Susan just all this time wanted to show Manabu a bob cut? Pixie cut? What's she, what she doing? The scissors? Okay. A new design? Light novel art illustration? Imagine she went bald. I'm gonna fucking scream bald at her, bro. Katsuragi was lonely. He needed another bald friend. Manabu, my boyfriend, you're leaving me! No, don't leave me! Susune. Oh. Some things are to be shown only to some special people like you, Manabu. Yes, he's trying to treasure these memories. He's trying to treasure these memories. Some kind of mark? Like a legacy? I truly don't believe Ana Koji ever wanted to leave a mark, a legacy here. He just came here because it's the only school that's so strict about outside connections being cut off. And he's like, finally, I'll just fucking th spend three years trying to live some kind of normal high school life. Turns out it's a fucking worst high school if you want to live a normal high school life, but still, you know? Make a mark on the students. That kind of moved Anakoji there. That kind of moved him there. Huh. Susan will definitely not forget. Are, are you saying that we made a mark on in Manabu? <laughs> he did leave a mark on Ryu in space. You're right. That's fucked up. <laughs> but do you think we made a mark on Manabu's heart, maybe? Okay. Ooh, you got expectations! Alright! Some very heartfelt moments here between these two. Nah, you were the best big brother boyfriend booty call we could have ever had. Huh. Susan should be showing up though with the haircut still. Ball Susan, where? Ball Susan, where? No more Manabu forever? Where? No, Susan. Susan? Oh! Is it gonna be a pixie cut? Like a pixie cut, like a bob cut. Kinda like Shinohara style. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Shinohara's hair? Maybe something like that? Maybe like a maybe like a tomboy cut. Maybe bald? Bald would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh what the fuck? <laughs> what was that? <sighs> From Manabu. Did he did he just awaken the incestual themes of anime? Did he just see her and be like, damn? My Emoto, I, I underestimated her game all this time. What the fuck? Hold up. What? Replay that. <laughs> okay. N new, new hairstyle. This is the real Susan. She's wearing pink. She's actually wearing different colors. That's crazy. I wonder what Koji thinks. It's just an empty face. What? She fucking... Cuts her fucking hair, smiles a little bit, puts on a fucking pink jacket. Oh, you returned to the old person you once were, Susan. I guess like symbolically, it's, it's what it's, uh, that's doing, right? Manabu's actually smiling. He's actually very happy because this is a Susan that was before that tried to chase after this genius brother and then just basically fucking everything up, right? So this is before he, she saw Manabu as a goal, but more just like a brother, right? <laughs> Wow, he's actually smiling. This is great. No palm strike? No final palm strike to end? No? Okay. Wholesome sibling redemption. This is crazy seeing him smile. Pushing you away. Yeah. Because the whole thing was never chase after me. You're chasing after something that cannot be achieved, right? You should be your own self. You don't need to be me. I simply couldn't allow that, so I decided to fucking palm strike you and say, My shitty little sister, ruining the Horiketa name, getting into D class, my reputation is down, our relationship is over. But he couldn't allow that. Come on. Come on, one last palm strike, you know, for old time's sake. Come on. Wow. 
<laughs> Apologizing for the palm strike in episode 2, season 1. Oh, he grew it up because the long hair? He always liked the short hair the entire time? <laughs> so I wanted to like change it up. That's a fucked up experiment, Nissan. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Light novel illustration? Light novel illustration? Oh. Oh, she's crying, bro. She, she's crying. How the fuck did they redeem this relationship? The siblings. You palm striked her ass in episode two. Is he really going to be waiting for Susune? Or is he going to be actually waiting for Alan Koji the entire time? Mm. Aww. <laughs> Susune is smiling, showing so much emotion, crying. What a happy ending between these two siblings. Like, damn, that's actually beautiful. Wow. Wow. The siblings, the Horikita siblings, they started off very rough. The older sibling palm struck the little sister. It's like, you're fucking useless. Go home. What are you doing here? But then, hey. With just a little bit of sociopathic behavior from Anakoji and manipulating her and turning into a tool and basically fucking her over, but then rebuilding her back up. The real Susanne is back, or should I say the fake Susanne? Because the fake one was the real one, but the real one is the fake one. I don't fucking know, man. She cut her hair. She's wearing her pink clothes. She's smiling. She's crying. This is so wholesome. I can't believe that Manabu and Suzune actually got this kind of redemption at the end. I truly thought that she, he might just leave and they might not even fucking talk at the end of the third year. Maybe there's going to be some kind of redemption there. But hey, that's it, man. Salute to our glorious supreme leader, Manabu. He's been a great character. It's sad that we'll never see him again. I hope that's not the case. I hope he shows up more. But hey, this isn't the end because now we're setting up the future, right? This, this is going to year two territory because Kishiro is under the radar the teachers are like hmm he's lying he's scamming hold the fuck up we can take him out and our champion is mashima and aris has got something cooking aris has said i'm gonna fucking slap him brutally right i mean who knows she's super petty when Ma you and yamauchi kicked her cane over she expelled him who knows what she'll do to skishiro so i got my anticipation high up and about the structure of the schools moving forward right i feel like the um first year was basically a culmination of trying to figure out who are the role models. Sorry, not the role models, the key players in each of the classes, right? You have Arisu and Baldi in class one, as well as Hashimoto and his, his and her right-hand man, right? We have Ichinose Kanzaki in class B, right? Class C, we have Ryu and Ibuki, you know, Ishizaki, you know, my, uh, fucking Albert family, right? In class D, you got Koji in the gang, right? And these key players, I'm sure, are going to collaborate and basically face against other foes because I don't see going into year two and doing the same fucking infighting within the same year. I feel like this this first year of class when you leave, it's all to scope out who are the key players going to class, go to second year. And now because of Nagumo's new, you know, doctrine of like, hey, you individually can succeed. You don't have to worry about the teams. I feel like a really interesting scenario is going to come up. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like this video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.